Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Jade Summer came out with this book just a little while ago. Now I've seen today they got a brand new one out, so I ordered that one. It should hopefully be here next week, so I'll be doing a review of that one. Or a flip through, I should say. This is Stained Glass Flowers. So let's take a look at this one. Here we have their info page. And then we get into the book itself. Now this is a, another one of their um, easier coloring books, um, but they're all designed to look like stained glass, as the name implies. And they're all flowers. Aren't those pretty? I thought this was such a pretty book. It is on their typical paper, the Amazon paper, and as usual, one-sided with the black um, backing on the reverse side. And again, remember if you use alcohol markers, that does not prevent bleed through. So make sure you put a piece of cardstock back behind your page. Wouldn't want to ruin the next one. As you can see, some of them are in the square or rectangular format. Previous one was in the circle. Already thinking of all the color combinations you can come up with. I think alcohol markers would be perfect in this book. Maybe this would be one where I could try out, you know, the chameleon markers in. I think that would be really pretty to get a nice blended look. So I may have to try that in here. I love these more simplistic coloring books. I think they are so much fun. Really relaxing and stress-free coloring. Especially with markers, because markers are always easiest on your hands. Less fatiguing. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. And of course, don't have to color these uh, flowers and birds <laughs> realistically. I wouldn't know what the vast majority of these flowers are. Anyhow, some of these must go this way, huh? Does not look, of course I haven't been paying any attention, but doesn't seem to be duplicates in this book, which I like. I am not a fan of when they put two sets of the same pictures in the same book. I know some of you may like that, but I typically will not color the second set anyhow. So to me, I would just prefer having the one set and maybe having a little bit of a lower price on the book then. Although there was one instance when I totally screwed up a picture and I did go to the second set. <laughs> a hummingbird. And that is it. Now they did come out with digital editions again so you can download a PDF version and it is not on the um, Jade Summers website. They had a 
an announcement. Oh, what is the name? Here it does say shop now on jadesummer.com. Um, but I don't know if that is correct now. Because I thought it was now on a different site. Hmm. If anybody knows the name of the site, comment it down below um, so that, uh, that others can see it. Can't think of it right off the top of my head. And then, of course, you can join their email list, and they do have um, a Facebook group. Here, as usual, is a list of all their other coloring books. So, okay. As you know by now, they have a ton of coloring books, and they're always adding more. Here we have a bonus page. This is from their 100 Flowers coloring book. And that is it. Here on the back cover, we do have a sampling of some pictures from inside the book. So that is their latest, well, now second latest, <laughs> coloring book. And again, it's stained glass flowers. I will link this down below in the description in case you'd like to look at it and purchase it for yourself. Apologize for the glare. It's really dim and gray and rainy here in Wisconsin today, so I had to turn all my lights on. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.